back to Creepy Places Global. We are now off to Scotland. I spent two wonderful weeks in that area and had to come back to Rhode Island in a massive heat wave where I'm like completely sweating to death. Thank you. Um, the first location we are going to is a medieval castle called Dura Castle, located on the Isle of Mall, and it um, is, um, belongs to the clan McLean. Very interesting history with some wonderful views and um, maybe a little bit of a paranormal. You have to watch and see. Um, unrelated to Scotland, I do want to showcase this. Um, it's a comic book from a group of friends, from a friends of mine, from Spirits of New England. There it is. Um, it's based on one of their cases, and the art, um, the artwork is great. Take a look. Very, very professionally well done. Um, somebody named Alex Cormack, and it was written by Jack Keenan, whose last name I'm probably mispronouncing, but I'm sure you won't mind. I highly recommend it. It's a short read, but the artwork is really great, and the case is really interesting too. Um, I'll leave the I'll leave a description to their website, and after you watch the video, you can uh, go and buy the comic book and tell them I sent you. Now, here is Dura Castle. Dura Castle is a 13th century castle located on the Isle of Mall in Scotland. Much of the early history is muddy, but it's known it was originally owned by the Scottish clan MacKinnon, who were associated with the islands of Mall and Skye. However, the castle's ownership is transferred to the clan MacLean, one of the oldest clans in the Highlands, around 1367 when Lachlan Lubanish MacLean who was born in 1350 and died in 1405, who became chief of the clan in 1365, married Mary MacDonald, daughter of the powerful John of Islay, who died in 1386 and was Lord of the Isles and chief of Clan MacDonald. The castle was granted to the couple as a dowry. Once Lachlan took possession of the castle, he began building and strengthening it. The first reference to the castle in documents goes back to 1392, and the building of it was not completed until the time of Hector Moore McLean in about 1560. Hector Moore was born in 1497 and died in 1568, and he was the 12th chief of the McLean clan starting in 1523, and he became Lord of Dura in 1527. He married a woman named Mary MacDonald of Islay and the Glens, daughter of Alexander MacDonald, 5th of Dunaveg, who was Lord of the Isles at the time. The castle has an interesting past, such as concerning the marriage of Lachlan Catnick MacLean, who was born in 1465 and died November 10, 1523, who became the 11th chief of the clan in 1515. According to family legend, he married the daughter of Gillespie Archibald Campbell, 2nd Earl of Argyll. No one is exactly sure who the daughter was, being either Margaret, Catherine, or Elizabeth. Regardless, the marriage was a turbulent one as she tried to poison him at one time. According to one tale, Lachlan blamed his wife for failing to produce an heir, so he had her chained to a rock in the channel and left her there to drown. However, a passing fisherman heard the lady's cries and rescued her. When Lachlan returned to the castle, he found his wife calmly seated as if nothing had happened. The Campbells plotted revenge, and on November 10, 1523, Lachlan was murdered in his bed, which was arranged by Sir John Campbell of Cawdor. In 1588, the Spanish Armada, which was a Spanish fleet sent to invade England during the Anglo-Spanish War, had to take a long route back to Spain because of severe storms by sailing around Scotland and Ireland. One ship, most likely the San Juan de Sicilia, anchored at Tobermory Bay, a few miles from Durat. The Spanish were granted refuge by Sir Lachlan Moore MacLean, who was born in 1558 and died in 1598 and became the 14th chief of the clan in 1573. In return, the Spanish agreed to help MacLean with his feud with the MacDonald clan. But the ship exploded soon after, possibly by sabotage by a man named John Smollett, a trader who was born in 1570 and died in 1591 who is believed to have been a secret agent for Sir Francis Walsingham, the principal secretary of Queen Elizabeth I. Several of the surviving Spanish were held as prisoners in the dungeons of Durat. 
During the conflict known as the English Civil War, which occurred from 1642 to 1651 and was an armed conflict between parliamentarians and royalists, the Macleans sided with the royalist cause. Since the war also took place during conflicts in Ireland, Scotland and England, it is also called the War of the Three Kingdoms. During that time, Sir Hector Maclean, who was born in 1620 and died in 1651, who became the 18th chief of the Maclean clan in 1649, was killed at the Battle of Inverkeithing on July 20th, 1651, a battle which ended with a decisive win for Cromwell's forces and killed over 800 men. Dura Castle was besieged on September of 1653 by six warships sent by Cromwell, but when they arrived the Maclean clan had fled to Tyree. On the 13th of that month, a storm hit while the ships were anchored near Durat, and three of them sank, including the HMS Swan. The castle remained with the Maclean clan until 1691, when Sir John Maclean, who was born in 1670 and died 1716 and became the 20th chief in 1674 at the age of four, surrendered the castle to Archibald Campbell, first Duke of Argyle, after a long siege in order to pay off the family's debt. Campbell then started to demolish parts of the castle and used some of the stones for other buildings, and by 1751, the castle was abandoned. The land passed through several owners over the years, and luckily it returned into ownership of the McLean family on September 11, 1911, when Sir Fitzroy Donald McLean, who was born May 18, 1835, and died November 22, 1936, who became the 26th clan chief in 1883, purchased the castle and started restoring it. He hired Sir John James Burnett to oversee the restoration. Burnett was a Scottish architect who was born March 31, 1857 and died July 2, 1938. Burnett was known to have worked on many prominent buildings in Glasgow and London. On August of 1912, about 700 members of the Maclean clan from all around the world gathered at the castle to celebrate its return to the family. Now, when Fitzroy turned 100, in keeping with Scottish tradition, he planted a rolling tree near a door in order to ward off evil spirits. Today, the castle is still used by the Maclean family, with the current chief, Sir Lachlan Hector Charles Maclean of Dura and Morven, who became the 28th chief in 1990, is often seen there. Since 2014, the castle has been receiving some much needed restoration, with appeals from the family for donations to help restore the castle. Today, people can visit the castle and enjoy the sights, the history, and even hold various events like weddings. In terms of the paranormal, there is a story of a headless horseman who was believed to be a man who was killed in 1647 during the English Civil War. It's claimed that the man was killed and his head was chopped off and his body thrown into the water. It is now claimed that if a member of the McLean family is dying, this horseman will appear to collect the person's soul. It is also said that the sounds of horse hooves can be heard around the castle. Now, here is Durat Castle. Off to Durat Castle. Gotta go by ferry. Up there is, what was his name again? Some dude's folly. <laughs> it was, um, he was building, he was miss, he was building like a coliseum to how great he is, but never got to finish it. Going to the Isle of Mall.
Well, there's Duark Castle. That's where we're heading. Once we get off the ferry. Close up. to the castle. <sighs> Andrew doesn't wait up for me. How rude. That's why they really built the castle here. It wasn't because for, for good defense, it was for, the, it was for the view. Do they still live here? It looks like yes. it's... Okay, they yes. still live here. Yeah, you say about the, I heard him say about the flag. Jesus, I thought there was actually somebody standing in there. <laughs>
I'm not in my way. I'm not in your way, Andrew. Am I? Mm. Am I? Am I? Of course not. <laughs> Surrounding the exhibition room is the wall walk. From here, the views across the center of Mount Rushmore. The roof slates are made of cave stone, and each weighs 100 weight. Knowing that the repairs to Duart started in 1991 and took four years to complete, it's possible to appreciate the scale of the original.
wooded. the entrance. We are somewhere probably right somewhere around here. There, which is, yeah. No, here. Yeah, I, th I think because we're, we're awfully close to the um, bottom. So. You are at that window, yeah. Ah, awesome. See, that that one. Ready to go upstairs? Kind of reminds me the setup. Kind of reminds me about the, some of the mansions in Newport. You know. Yes. Squeaky. It gets squeakier when you go up further. Yes. Ooh, I want this. You think if I ask them nicely, they'll give it to me? Oh yes. And ship it out too, at their cost. Dinner <laughs> set.
Duar Castle. Hello, is there anybody in the bathroom with me? <clears throat> Are you a member of the McLean clan? The following EVP seems to have captured two voices. The first voice seems to be a woman mumbling, while the second is a male voice appearing to be answering my question by saying, yes. You a member of the McLean clan? You a member of the McLean clan? Member of the McLean clan? <laughs> Do you find this place noisy? This possible EVP seems to be of a woman whispering something, but we are not sure what is being said. Visitors? Serve me. It was a little different before I got rest restored. Definitely. <laughs> Ruin this Fisher for a fisher cat. No, it's just the captain's twin. But, but on the other side, there's no scaffolding. Oh. Oh, I mean, it's a nice view of the woods. Andrew? Oh, she's lucky she 
she's more mobile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's only a castle. Could have gone on about that. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, let's ask the spirits. <laughs> so there's... No, Durot tried. Castle. I noticed some homing on us last night when we were at the dinner table. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> greetings. Is there any spirits among us? If so, what is your name? This EVP appears to be a male voice also trying to say something. But it's unclear what is being said. If so, what is your name? If so, what is your name? If so, what is your name? Are you part of the McLean clan? That is McLean, right? Yes. Now you think if I asked nicely, would they give me this place to live? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I asked nicely. Look after it. I'll be the damn caretaker here, yeah. <laughs> Fisher cat resident. It's quite big. It's bigger than what it looks. Well, the island goes all the way. Look at that view. I'm going to walk on the other side. Yeah. You can take your time. We're not going to win anywhere. I promise I won't leave you. I know. Damn. <laughs> Dead end down here. Is that dead end. 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 Those are probably new. I still say they didn't they didn't build this castle here just because for our defense purposes because it has a great view. I mean, this side does have a better view, I will say. Yes. I'm just learning on this one. Oh, they're all different, aren't they? 
I wonder what more we got to do. Obviously, we have to go back through. Is there more stairs we climb up? No, I think this is the top. Do we can drink? Oh, so we got an hour. Yeah, it's got over an hour. Oh yeah, we got to go back into the uh, near the ballroom because that the exit's that way. Yes. Ooh, sounds like I should be more of call off. <laughs> Hello, are there any maids or servants here in the kitchen? If so, what is your name? Uh, did you like the views? Yeah, you think we still have time? Yes. What time is it, if you don't mind me asking? It's um, just gone 20 past two. So the coach is only just down there. Okay. okay. I, I thought that's when we were living, leaving, but yeah, you know. Three. <laughs> and look what I got myself. Da 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 E you. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely by that cap. Maybe the what would you call minges? Minges? Midges. Midges. They're like mosquitoes, only smaller. <laughs> Yeah, next time we'll bring, we're going out here, we're going to bring bugs, bug spray. Now I heard some of these, these some of these are pretty old. Some of them I heard are pretty, these are pretty old.
Well, just in case, because I noticed it last night, these minges, yeah. minges, whatever yeah. the hell you call them, or blood suck, mini blood suckers. Yeah, vampires. Vampires. Ah. Oh, usually late, these blue bells. They're usually in May at home, late from May. Those minges are probably after me, because my get after my pure American blood. Mm, that's what it is. <laughs> I gotta admit, we actually had a lot of time here. Yes. Because, like, we, you know, when we went to o Odan, wasn't as much. I mean, that was just more of a stopover anyway. Yeah, it is a long way down. Oh. Uh, as me and Andrew are exploring the great wonders of Durock Castle in Scotland, we found this is a cemetery and it's beginning to rain, which is beautiful Scottish weather then, right? It is. It's an ideal Scottish day. You know what? No, they're right. Even in weather like this, it just feels Scottish with all this weather. Salmon on your shelves in the supermarket. Salmon at the moment, you know, it's cheaper than mackerel. The mackerel was, uh, you know, I was brought up on it. You, you know, I just never want to see a mackerel again in my life. Uh, it's, uh, mackerel is more expensive than steak at the moment. It's ridiculous. Um, so we've got very, very cheap salmon. And if you want. these seals are cramming on the calories uh, all through the summer up until September uh, is because uh, at the end of September all of that of course because there's no food in the winter is for these guys to just pork out in the winter months. That's summer, that's summer. 